Oh, this is a very interesting question, actually. Um, can you elaborate on the association between fatty liver disease and Ooh. cardiovascular disease? Fatty liver is on the rise. Fatty liver is related to the obesity and the diabetes epidemic. Mm -hmm. And people that have excess fat put it in weird spots. The liver being one of them, mm -hmm. the sac around the heart is another one. Yeah. And then, you know, live, fat that's not in a normal fatty location acts differently. It acts aggressively. It makes chemicals that are inflammatory. That are inflammatory. Mm -hmm. And it increases your risk of heart disease. It increases your risk of heart attacks, of strokes, and of cirrhosis of the liver, particularly if you're Hispanic and if you drink. So all the medicines that we use to treat lipids and that treat diabetes and diets that are all cardiovascular beneficial are good for liver disease, for fatty liver disease. Yeah, and I think that, um, you know, the obesity epidemic, like Dr. Coulter said, is really something that us as a cardiology community, we're combating now, and in the future we'll continue to do so as diabetes is on the rise, obesity is on the rise. Um, so I think that um, if you've been told you have a fatty liver, um, back in the day, I think people used to just say, oh, you have a little bit of a fatty liver, but now we We're we much know. more ambitious about it. Yeah, and we know that there are things, you know, in um, daily routines that we can change to improve it and medicines, of course, that we use yeah. to help there, too. In this article, there's a big chart of what medicines, in fact, it was shocking because when I was reading the, you know, evidence-based medicine for the treatment of fatty liver disease, it was like reading the diagram of how I prevent heart, heart disease. disease. Yeah, it was basically exactly. the exact same thing. So um, we're gonna leave you with some tips for the future. Lead a heart healthy lifestyle. Encourage your friends and family members to do the same. Monitor your blood pressure. Yes. And see your doctor for routine screening. You know, really certainly after the age of 50 or sooner if you have a strong family history. Mm -hmm.